Hey guys, Pat Man's here. So I decided I'm gonna stick with the leather working theme a little bit here. Um, I was just taking some pictures of my holsters and stuff. This is my stitching pony and it has some things to be desired. It is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it works. It is functional and I just built it out of some scrap 1x4 and some scrap leather to uh, protect my project on the jaws. But as you can see through here, it doesn't leave much room for material. You know, if I've got a holster in there, it doesn't leave much room for the holster inside so I can stitch around the edges. So I'm going to cut this back. Let's grab a sharpie. My thought is to just keep it kind of like that. Then we'll have to, you know, this is a whole trial and error thing to find what everybody has their own particular preference. So, but I'm going to build a new stitching pony. Um, and a lot of these are designed with a board that either comes straight back to sit on or one that spreads out this way and you put your legs over it. I'm going to actually attach this to my bench. I just built a bench just for leather working behind me, so I'm not using my gun bench because I found, uh, well, as I built this holster, that this is not, a, not conducive to doing leather work. Um, I did design this to be for gun work. And I do a little gunsmithing on the side just to usually to help out some buddies and give them a good rate. Um, anyway, so that's my stitching pony. And right now it's purely a friction thing. Um, you can spread it apart, get your project in there, and just let it close. And it holds it pretty good. You can do a lot of different things, put a C clamp on it. I'm actually going to run uh, a bolt through it right in the middle somewhere here, uh, somewhere there, I don't know, um, with the wing nut on it so I can just tighten it, snug it up, um, along with cutting these back. So what I'm going to do is, uh, my lumber's upstairs, I'm going to get started on this, and I'm going to take you along for a ride and show you how to build a stitching pony, or at least how I do it. Anything I show in my videos is not necessarily the way everything is supposed to be done. It's the way I do things, and purely that. There's nothing else to it. When I do the jaws, there's going to be time involved because there's going to have to be glue setting up and all that kind of happy stuff. Um, there isn't a lot of room to use fasteners in there. This, these are screwed in, but there's not a lot of room to put fasteners in here, needless to say. So I'm going to try pins, I'm going to drill holes and I'm going to try to pin it, uh, which might amount to being screws with the heads cut off them, just to hold everything together so the glue gets a chance to set up real good. So I'm going to take you along, show you how I'm doing it, and if you don't like how I'm doing it, tough, because it's how I'm doing it, and I'm not doing it for anyone else. If you like the way it is, I can send you all the dimensions. Actually, I'll put them at the end of the video. All the dimensions and all the pieces that I've got cut, I'm going to do it as simply as possible. These are nothing but 45 degree angles, and that's all they're going to be. Uh, it's standard 1x4 lumber, pine, nothing fancy. If you want to get fancy, do it on your own time. I'm not a fancy kind of guy, I'm a functional kind of guy. And I'm going to build this to attach to my bench. So it's just going to stick right off the side of my bench, since I have a dedicated bench now. And it's just going to stay there. And that's the way it's going to go. So, we'll take you along. Uh, and I'll get back with you in a little bit. Hey guys. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad out here. It's a little breezy, but it's kind of nice. Cools, cools you off a little bit. Um, the sun's shining to beat the band. If you like my shirt, 
these are shirts that I wear just knocking around the house working on stuff so I don't wreck my good shirts <laughs> these are already wore out from working so um, my stitching pony is going to be 18 inches from top to bottom so I've got a 1x4 here I'm going to cut two pieces 18 inches long um, so I'll swing you over play this off I hook this cord up out of my way. And both ends are kind of iffy. So I'm just going to square them up. And yes, I know I don't have a guard on my saw. It broke a couple of years ago. And I don't want to buy a new one. So make a mark at 18 inches. Line up our blade. Cut her off. I'm just going to hold the other end even. Run it up against the blade. And there we go. I am also going to need two more pieces cut at a 45. This is a compound miter saw. So I have the ability to swing it over. Move my fence a little. I can swing it over to do a 45 in any direction that I want to. each end. Now I have a 45 on each end that I can use. So my 45 is down just a bit. They're going to face down towards the inside. And so I'm going to come up from my point two inches. Which should be good. And I'm going to cut it off there. I went back to 90 degree cut. And these are going to face downward. So I'm going to get a drill bit and a drill, and I'm going to pre-drill some holes to hold this in. They're going to go in at an angle, so that when I cut the 45 on the, the other end, it doesn't cut into the screws. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. What I did is I took the angled piece that I cut and screwed it on from the back side as close to the edge as I could. These are... Turn it so I can read inch and a quarter screws so they're you know sink in there about half an inch so I'm back 
right about here with my screw. Um, now I'm going to cut another angle on it going this way. And I'm going to do that with my saw again. screws but that's okay that's why I have a carbide blade <laughs> hopefully I didn't wreck it too bad um, so there we go I did the other piece already they'll go together just like this and leave me plenty of room for my work in there on the bottom I'm just gonna put a 2x4 in for a spacer and to do that I'm just gonna flip it over couple of my little fancy screws here. Line everything nice on the end. towards the top here too for good measure. I see a lot of people when they're running screws in get real crazy with their drill. You don't need to... The faster I go with that the more chance I have to split the wood. We don't want to split it. Now I'm more concerned with lining up the top than I am with lining up the bottom. Because the top is where all the magic happens. So I'm going to be real careful and get that lined up. Now I did line up the bottom and the sides. that's pretty simple. It's a very basic stitching pony. I'm gonna grab a sander, even all this up on the bottom. I'm gonna round off the edges a little bit. Uh, and then we'll go to the next step. So uh, I don't think you need to watch me rounding off edges. <laughs> so we'll be back in a bit. <laughs> 